Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about RFC 51 change data capture in Apache Hoodie. That's right. Apache Hoodie has just released version 0.13, which is jam packed with all the amazing new features. One of the amazing feature is change data capture. So let's take a look at change data capture in Apache Hoodie transactional data lake. All right, I'm on my screen and uh, we'll be doing a small lab. So before we do this lab, I just want to say change data capture allows you to see, uh, you know, what, what was inserted, what has updated and for items that has updated, what was the before copy and what is the after copy. So let's take a look. Uh, so first over here, I'll be defining some imports, right? And this lab you could do uh, on your local machines as well. So I'm defining certain basic imports such as Spark session and you know general imports here. Over here on this Jupyter notebook or this cell, and I'll zoom in as much as possible because I know people do watch from the phone. Uh, here I'm using the word packages and I'm essentially passing the latest Apache Hoodie package which is 0.13 as you can see over here. And then I'm creating a Spark session and here you can see my Spark session has been created. And local means I'm doing it on, on my local machine. Step three, we define the hoodie settings for the CDC table and I'll tell you what has changed here. So again, same thing, database name, table name, record key. This is the path to my hoodie data lake. A precom key is used for dedo purposes for incoming batch, method as absurd, table type as copy on write. And now the only thing that has changed over here is this one, hoodie table CDC enabled as true, which means I'm saying, hey hoodie, I would like to basically, I would like you to capture the CDC now. Hoodie table CDC supplement logging mode data before and after, which means I'm telling Hoodie, give me the before and the after copy whenever uh, an item is updated. I'm gonna execute the cell. Now let's perform certain updates and deletes on our Apache Hoodie data lake. I'm inserting two messages, one and two, into my Apache Hoodie data lake. And if you observe here, shortly I should be seeing that. And again, I'm, I'm performing on my local machine, so you know it might be a little slow. So please uh, be a little patient with this. So you're gonna wait for this to complete. And that is complete. And here you can see, uh, I can see certain base file and the Hori metadata, right? Now I'm gonna be basically updating. I'm gonna update the record number one, right? So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna show you the CDC queries, which is um, the change data capture query. So we'll essentially, Remember, we should see the before message and the after. The before message was, you know, it was an insert and the after message is update again. So this is what we inserted, record one and two, and then we have updated record number one, okay? So that is what we are doing. And here you can see it is done, right? If I look at here, I have some base file. This is great. Now let's basically um, um, uh, see the CDC part, right? So here I'm just basically uh, wanted to show you the commits, right? So now this is the part that we need to understand or you guys need to understand, right? So we are here creating a snapshot. The snapshot name is hoodie snapshot. I'm basically taking the latest, uh, the, oh, the first commit, right? Uh, you can also use the stored procedure to do that, right? But I'm just doing it uh, with the simple command, right? And then here, if you observe, I'm passing in the incremental queries, right? So I'm saying hoodie data source query type as incremental. Uh, then I'm saying hoodie data source query incremental for format as CDC and then I'm giving a begin time which means I'm telling hoodie where do I want to start reading my CDC queries from right so that's that and then at the end what I do is I load the data uh, into a data frame which is incremental DF right and then I'm essentially using spark SQL to read the data and I'm essentially printing certain things so if I run the cell observe this Look at that, I, I, and U, that is insert. These were inserts and U stands for update. So that record has been updated, right? And um, here I'm just showing, and if you observe carefully, I'm showing you the updated part, the before and the after. So just wanna show you that. So observe this, UUID one, message insert one, and the after copy, update one. Look at that, isn't that amazing, right? So again, this is a great feature that Hoodie has announced in the latest versions. I am very, very excited to you know use this uh, moving forward in my company as well. And here is the more documentation. So if you wanna uh, read more, special thanks to the proposed 
uh, proposal over here and the approvers over here this is everything that you uh, uh, want to know in case if you want to go in, in in detail again everything is given over here but if you are just uh, want to learn how to get started this lab will really help you out so i encourage you guys to download the lab with that being said thank you very much for watching and this is how you can do change data capture in apache hoodie transactional data data lake at scale thank you so much for watching if you have any more questions let me know and i'll try my best to answer the questions thank you and see you in the next video